Hello everyone. Under the ECMO troubleshooting simplified series, today we will see about recirculation on VV ECMO. It can lead to same bright colored blood in both the access cannula and the retent cannula, that is venous and arterial cannula. Saturation will be reduced. Tissue hypoxia can be seen. Severe acidosis can be noted. Hyperlactatemia can occur and ultimately decline in patients hemodynamic status. It can be caused by very high ECMO blood flows and uh, both the tips of the femoral and jugular cannulas being too close. Intrathoracic pressure variations uh, can lead to pericardial tamponade or pneumothorax which can ultimately lead to recirculation because of lower venous drainage. Changes in intracardiac and intra-abdominal pressures. It can be assessed and prevented by monitoring the cannula placement in x-ray every day. Strict control of the ventilator settings to avoid variations of intrathoracic pressures. Calculating recirculation factor. Visualizing the color of blood in both access cannula and right hand cannulas. Monitoring pre and post oxygenated VO2 values daily. How to manage recirculation? It can be managed by adjusting the tip of jugular and femoral cannula to be at least 8 to 10 centimeters between the two cannulas to avoid significant recirculation. It can be confirmed with the uh, imaging. Adding additional written cannula in the femoral vein. Avoiding high ECMO blood flows more than required. Switching to the dual lumen cannula, for example, Avlon, to reduce the recirculation factor. Avoiding intrathoracic pressure variations, which can cause tamponade or pneumothorax.